All right, we are back with our job experts talking about everything from opening in the triad to resources for those looking for work. Don't forget, you can text the number there on your screen and we will answer them. Okay, picking up where we left off, um, let's go to Fred. This viewer says, I left a high level corporate position about two years ago to be a stay at home mom. I've been looking the last few months to enter back into the workforce and have applied to about 20 to 30 administrative jobs with only one callback. I mentioned on my resume that I was a stay at home mom looking to maintain work life balance. Do you think that this is a turnoff to employers? No, I do not. I think it's a way to communicate. Uh, we've talked about transferable skills. And some of those transferable skills are so what you're doing as far as organizing and taking care of those uh, billing and financing things could be a, a good part of um, communi communicating that information to a future employer. I think the other thing is to, um, is to for us to, I guess, to bring in your resume and have you uh, share with professionals, whether they're gram personnel or the NC works um, teams. And uh, so we can take a closer look at what's taking place with your resume because there may be some other things that, um, that we can share with you that may not really connect with employers. So I think uh, just kind of communicating with the staff directly and um, us giving you some pointers. I love that. We would love to speak with that person as well. I mean, I, I think uh, one one for 30, something's up. So, we'll, we'll, you know, please reach out to us as well and we'll help you out. Yeah. I love this. This is a power team right here. Okay, then we have um, another viewer from Colfax. Um, is there a program where I can be trained to drive a forklift, um, get my license as well? We'll take that on over to, I see both nodding heads, but we'll take Will and then Fred, you're next. Oh, there are a lot of programs. I can't even name them all, but um, certainly they, they, they do it almost any, anywhere. Every distribution center um, will have to forklift certify you for their facility. Um, just, I would say Google, honestly, and, and see which ones are closest to you. And it's and it's easy to, um, it'll, it'll be easy for you to do. Definitely, definitely a high in demand job. Fred, you're nodding your head too. Yeah, same, same. Yeah, there are a number of programs that uh, Goodwill Industries provides forklift training, uh, but a lot of companies uh, do things as far as training with cost, uh, forklift driving, really customized to the operations. So uh, I think we'll hit it on point, really Google it. And there's a lot of um, vendors and programs across to try it. Amazing. Okay, so this is a question we're actually getting from a few viewers. It's about working from home. I'll read this one specifically. I want to work from home part time. What is the best way to find out about those jobs? I also have a four year gap in my employment. I had to care for elderly parents until they passed. How do I explain that gap in my resume? So kind of two ended. Um, we'll start with you, Fred. Yeah, I think it's uh, again, we talked about the previous caller um, coming into our career centers. Uh, letting us work with you directly to see what those skill gaps and how it's looking on paper. But I think the other resource is to tap into the res of NC Works Online. We have full-time and part-time positions there. And uh, there are a number of customer service part-time opportunities out there when we uh, look at opportunities within the triad area, but also there are things within the um, retail establishments. And I would say there, there is, goodness, maybe a quarter or 50% of the workforce has had to leave to either take care of uh, elderly in COVID, um, certainly if you have a young family. Um, so it is, it's, it's not uncommon to see that. I wouldn't let that deter you. I, I know it might, I, there's, there's so much angst people have with applying yeah. to jobs. And, and the number one advice I would get is, have somebody read over your resume, yeah, right. talk, talk to a friend, right. and then apply, apply, apply. Yeah, I think this is great advice. You can find all of it on our Two Wants to Know website and WFY News 2. We'll be back.